Hi, I'm Chevelle and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute cherry blossom inspired mini canvas piece. You're going to need your mini canvas. I've got two stand options, your paint brushes, got some bigger ones for the background and we've got some smaller ones for the flowers and the details. You're going to need a palette. If you don't have one of those, just something you can put your paint on at home and your paints. We're going to start off with our backgrounds, we're going to add both our blues on our palette with a bit of white and we're going to just layer that um, on the canvas. My goal here is to have some of those brush strokes um, still being visible, I don't want it to be too smooth, I want it to have that textured feel to the back of it so I'm just going to be going back and forth between my paints until I get my desired look and also finish off the edges. Once you've let the background dry, we're going to start off with our branches using um, this burnt sienna paint. You can do whatever feels right for you in terms of where your branches um, are going. I've decided to have them coming from the side. You can have them going straight up from the middle. You can have them hanging over a bit. So it's entirely up to you. I will also just link down below my Pinterest um, board where I drew all my inspiration from to create this piece today. So you can really just customise it to your liking. So I'm just going to continue doing the branches until I feel satisfied. I'm going to mix in some black paint with the burnt sienna to give the branches a little bit more character. I'm now going to start on the first layer of flowers. So I'm going to mix a bit of that rose pink colour in with some white and start drawing on my petals. Do whatever feels right, play around with it until you're satisfied. As you can see, your first flower may not be your best, but as you keep on doing it, you will find some form of rhythm to it.
once you're done with your first layer you're going to add some more of the rose color into your mixture to go ahead with your second layer same as before you can add it on the flowers you've done already um, you can create some new ones just do whatever feels right you can also add some loose petals as well whilst you're at it We're going to add a bit of white to that mixture to create a color that's in between the two colors we've created so far and repeat the same steps again. to create these little smaller flowers and a few buds using the variety of different shades of pink I've got going on just to look a bit more natural you know like on the trees when you've got the little small flowers or some flowers that haven't bloomed yet it's to really give it that effect on those extra branches that I've just drawn I'm going to take the red paint and add some details to the middle of my flowers. I'm going to focus mainly on the bright pink flowers with the red paint and then the other two shades 
I'm going to go ahead and use the rose color as well just to add a bit of detail into the middle and basically just play around with all my colors add a few petals add a few more buds until I am satisfied 